Good morning, Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday, my favorite day of the week, October 11th, 2013. And guess what? Today is National Coming Out Day. Today is a day where if you're comfortable with who you are and you've been hiding who you are, and you're ready to come on out. This is the day where in large numbers people decide to come out of the closet and announce, announce, announce their sexuality comfortably. I think this is an important day. I was not going to do a video today until I saw a few posts on Facebook by some very important people, I might add, um, who felt that today is just not that important and not needed. Are they living on Mars? Because something's wrong with these. If you think National Coming Out Day is not needed, then something is wrong with you mentally. You need to seek help. I'm 43 years of age. I came out to my family in the fourth grade. I knew I was gay in preschool. I knew. See, as African Americans, we're ignorant, dumb, stupid. When it comes to sexuality issues. And it, it, it immensely gets on my nerves so deeply. This is why this day is so important for me. Because National Coming Out Day really shouldn't have to exist. But it does because of ignorance. And we got a whole lot of ignorance in the black community. Based about sexuality. We, a lot of gay people don't even understand how they can't turn out gay. Boo. You were born gay. And I don't give a goddamn what anybody else has to say. You were born gay. I was born gay. There's nothing you can do to change that. This day is important. I've had many friends, many friends, who committed suicide because of their sexuality. In my eyes, that's like committing suicide because you're black. That's like committing suicide because you got a big nose. That's like committing suicide because you got black eyes. That's like me committing suicide because I got a bald head because I can't grow no damn hair. Well. It grows a little bit of fuzz up there. I had to quickly have to shave it off because it's gray fuzz. Actually, it's kind of white looking fuzz at this point. One of these people that they don't think National Coming Out Day is needed, it is. We've had a lot of important people come out on this day. People just still do not understand sexuality, particularly in the black community, the African American community. When I came out to my family, my father, Understood who I was. My mother did not. She was a Jehovah's Witness. She was a religious nutcake. She said she was going to beat, whoop me that day. My father stopped her. Because he knew that his son was gay. And it would not, all the beatings in the world were not going to remove or change his sexuality. So I look at people who don't like the coming out process. Who don't, how can you be gay? And encourage people to stay in the closet. To hide who they are. To lie. Because you know what happens when people lie? They start doing devious, deceitful things to people around them. Like getting a wife. Getting married. Deceiving her and her family. In their own family. Having kids. Which is fine. The kids having kids is fine part, but you're lying to your children about your sexuality, you're lying to your wife, you're lying to your family, you're lying to your workers, you're lying to your co-workers, your family, your friends. Is this a good thing? Why do we encourage the down low lifestyle in the black community? I don't get it. Come out. It's safer. It's better for you. Mentally. Physically. I've lived my life happily. I cannot sit here and say that because I'm a black gay man, my life has had any type of issues or problems because of my sexuality. Because I'd be telling a damn lie. Nothing has ever had a profound impact negatively on me. In fact, I think my life and who I am is a positive because I am an out black gay man. I don't hide my sexuality from anyone. People walk up to me all the time, especially since I started doing these YouTube videos. 
Since I started doing these YouTube videos, I get a lot of people, black men in particular, because I'm in the gym all day, and they say, how, do you, how did you know you were gay? When did you know you were gay? How does it feel living in sin? Well, A, I'm not living in sin. That's your religious beliefs, not mine. I was born gay. I knew I was gay when I was a little kid. People want to know. People have questions. They might have questions, but not one person has ever stepped forward to me and disrespected me or harmed me in any way because of my sexuality ever in my life. Ever. Never lost a job, a client, an income, nothing. Nothing. I've lived my life freely as a black gay man most of my life. And I've never had an issue. And I will not have an issue. But when I have friends, and I have some friends, miserable, oh my God, I have some friends who are so miserable because their family members don't know. Well, they think their family members don't know and their family members really do know the truth. They know your ass is gay. I have friends who really think that no one knows they're gay, but they 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, on own up. Never had a wife, never had a wife, never had a girlfriend, have no children, no one's ever seen this girlfriend you supposedly claim that you have, no one's ever met your fake fiance. Come on now. Why are you living a lie? I have personal friends that I know who are living a lie. Lying to everyone. And everybody knows the truth. In fact, I had a friend, I have a friend who was in a relationship. His living lover would have to hide. Hide under a bed. When company would unexpectedly stop by, go hide. I don't want anybody to know you're here. Nigga, I wish, I wish a nigga would tell me to go hide someplace. Nigga, you go hide. Why the hell am I going to hide? I live here too. That's your problem. You go hide from them. Sad. How African American gay men live their lives. That's why I live openly. And you know, I get criticized something terrible by a lot of people. A lot of black gay people about these videos I do. They attack me all the time. Why are you doing that? Why are you so out? I don't like that. You're not living my life. You're not paying my bills or, or taking care of me. You're not dealing with this wild ass mutt on this damn floor crying while I'm doing this damn video. Then she needs to be over there eating that damn dog food I just went up to the store and purchased this morning. Go eat. But instead, they're angry. I have people who are friends of mine who don't like what I'm doing with these YouTube videos. And they avoid me. Good. They just don't know they're doing me a favor. Bye! Ooh, Lord, one less person I have to pay for when I go to IHOP. Because you didn't have no money to pay for it in the first place. So I just pay for me, myself, and I. And go on to the gym. I don't live in fear. National Coming Out Day is an important day because it frees people. And it changes people's minds and perceptions about what we think gay men are. And who is gay. We hide who we are. When we have stars, celebrities, sports players, basketball players, per, um, mayors, governors. When we have these important people who hide who they are, they hide who we really are. They, have, they hide the fact that we're just a normal, everyday person. Well, I'll tell you, my life ain't no different than you are. I, my life is the same as a straight person's life. Except I have sex with men. And I date men. And I've been in relationships with men. And I am a man. My life is the same. I still eat the same grits, sausage, and wheat toast that my neighbors do. That we purchase from the grocery store up the street. Our lives are pretty much the same. Well, mine is. Some of y'all might have some more crazier lives than mine. Mine is pretty boring when you stop and think about it. I just like to get up and have me some coffee and go about my day. Love coffee. Thank God for coffee. Because if it wasn't for coffee, I'd be one old bitter, mean, nasty motherfucker over here. Ooh, I'm not supposed to cuss on this video. Mama, forgive me. I know you're watching. Mama, forgive me. I didn't mean that. So, let's not criticize today. 
let's not talk about the people who will embrace today because they need today. When I think about my friends who committed suicide because of their sexuality, it tore my heart apart because they were hiding. I didn't know these people were hiding from everyone. They were hiding who they were. And I think that's sad. And now they're dead and gone because they couldn't come out and be free. This is 2013. We live in the United States of America. The United States of America. Freedom, the land of the free. You can be out. You can be proud. You can be free. This is National Coming Out Day. If you have some four important family members that you want to tell, call them up today and say, this is the day I want to let you know a secret that you may already know about me. Come out and be proud, guys. You know, I love you guys so much that that's why I do these videos and people don't understand that. Because I know what you're going through. Because I've seen it with my friends. I've seen it with family. I've seen it. I've seen it. And I understand. But you also, also have to understand I'm hungry as hell sitting here doing this video. I'm about to, because I wasn't going to do one today. I, it's 10 o'clock. I'm about to have breakfast. Be proud of who you are. I'm black, gay, and proud, and I love Walter. I would never harm or hurt, hurt myself over my sexuality, and I never would hurt or harm another man over his sexuality. And I hope that you guys know to love yourself first before you love anybody else. I don't give a damn who that person is, whether it's your mama, your brother, your sister, your dog, your neighbors. Love yourself first. Empower yourself first. But I'm out of you guys. You guys have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And um, come out if you're hiding. Be free.